All earning contracts tonight. That's 20 contracts oh. in six weeks. It was the week of the flying knee on the Contender Series. I don't know that I've seen finishes that great in the last three years. See you next week, everybody. Thanks for watching. And very consistent throughout the three seasons of the for the future. I mean, this fine. Adesso invece vivo a Modena per l'università, per il lavoro e anche per l'allenamento soprattutto. Dona Wise, mi contratta logo perché vou dar show. Eh, prometo che vou dar show agora in tutte le mie lutte no UFC. I've been on this grind for 10 years. I want to get that contract and I want to keep fighting. I want to fight the best. No estoy tratando de probar nada. Simplemente vengo a demostrar que tengo muchos años de experiencia y que es hora de que yo esté en este lugar. test my skills that I've been growing up and training and I just, just want to fight the best in the world. I feel like I was born to fight. For every single fight, I try to make sure that everybody's watching will never forget watching Devin Smith fight. You watch me fight and you'll not forget it. Period. Me fighting him is just another stepping stone. I'm going to put on my best performance. I'm going to finish this guy. I have earned this uh, opportunity by uh, working hard and uh, staying dedicated to my craft. I'm here to prove to myself that I can be great. Everyone told me that I couldn't be growing up or I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't fast enough, I wasn't a lot of things. I think it's my time to show myself that I can be those things that I always wanted to be. I deserve this opportunity to enter the UFC because I came from my cartel invicto, 11 lutas, 11 victories, 8 knockouts and 3 finalizations. So there's not one place I'm going to be in this fight that I've never been. There's not one thing this guy can do to me that I haven't felt in the gym tenfold. So I know I'm ready. I fight because I love it. You sacrifice everything for this one goal, to be in the UFC and to be a world champion, and I'm willing to do anything to get this contract. Tonight I'm showing the MMA world an introduction to Uchi Lobo is ready to make an impact, and I'm doing what I love. A UFC contract would mean the world to me. Whoever's standing across the cage from me, I really don't care what your name is. I have everything to lose at that point. My goal is to come here, win in dominant fashion, and move into the UFC and fight the toughest guys in the world. My goal is to become a first Serbian UFC champion. I will show Dana what I'm made of and that I deserve the contract. Jesus Christ, how many fucking people there are, man. One shot to impress the boss. For the future. And Nina's wife's protect with that. Scouring the globe, looking for the best talent in MMA and... It's nothing personal. I have to go through to get to where I want to be. 
get to where I want to be and to the goals that I have set for the future. I mean, this fight is spectacular fashion is everything that I need, everything that I want, and everything that I've already been doing in my career. My plan is to go in there, beat this guy up, and get the contract. Making a statement is the only way to win a contract, so I got to make sure I put a stamp on my fight. The UFC contract would mean the world to me. Dana, I'm an exciting fighter. Don't blink, because you don't want to miss what I got coming. You are watching the world's most intense job interview. It's Dana White's Contender Series. Future stars are mine for that UFC contract. They have a chance to literally to change their lives forever. After the long hours in the gym. After the years of grueling training. What determination they have. After a lifetime pursuing hopes and dreams. There comes the moment where a contender can make dreams come true. 100 fighters. Welcome to the Contender Series. These fighters know what gets them to the big show. Ten nights. One shot, and it is over. Wow. Oh, he's out. That's it. Action. One shot to impress the boss and earn a UFC contract. Contender Series. Welcome back to another Tuesday night in Las Vegas. As we have already seen five times this summer, Tuesdays are anything but normal here at the UFC Apex. Ten more fighters in the house tonight, all fighting for a contract. We are officially past the halfway point of the season. It's the third season of Dana White's Contender Series. What's up, fight fans? So glad to be back in the saddle. A long time, my partner, the newly <laughs> minted Hall of Famer, Michael Bisbee. Congratulations, my friend. Well, thank you, sir. That still sounds very, very nice. But it's not about me tonight. It's about these terrific fighters that we have on display this evening. As usual, tremendous fights on the card. I can't wait to see the action. Dana White has been very consistent throughout the three seasons of the Contender Series. You can't just win to get a UFC contract. You have to absolutely dominate. And we have seen a lot of domination thus far, Michael Bisping. Oh, yes. 16 contracts handed out so far. Let's take a look back. What a ride it has been in week one. Jorgen DeCastro, the biggest underdog, no problem. He was one of two contract winners. Then in week two, dominant performances from start to finish. Michael Bieza, Miles Johns each earn a contract. And then history, five contract winners in week three. Week four, Dana almost as generous with four fighters punching their ticket to the show. And then last week, Jamal Hill, one of three fighters awarded contracts, 16 so far this season, and that number is sure to rise. The third member of our broadcast crew can't really tell us how many contract winners are going to be tonight, but she can shed some light on just how much. to rise the third member of our broadcast crew can't really tell us how many contract winners are going to be tonight but she can shed some light on just how much talent will be in the octagon laura this show is all about showcasing the best up-and-coming talent in all of mma and man does tonight's card look promising in that regard all in these 10 fighters have a record of 60 and 6 that's right, 60 wins and just six losses between all of them. In fact, six of the 10 are still undefeated. And it's not just homegrown talent. These matchmakers are scouring the globe looking for the best talent in MMA. And depending on how things shake out tonight, we might have our first uh, Bahamian, Czech, or Russian contract winner. Definitely a global affair. A lot of O's are going to go tonight. Should be a very fun one, guys. Thank you, Laura. Our featured bout of the night, a couple of undefeated guys. Uh, to Laura's point, Alexa Kammer. A lot of O's are going to go tonight. Should be a very fun one, guys. 
Thank you, Laura. Our featured bout of the night, a couple of undefeated guys, uh, two Laura's point, Alexa Kammer and Fabio Schrent, both talented fighters, both coming in undefeated, and Kammer has won every single fight by knockout. Yeah, that's right. Alexa Kammer, he's, you know, when you speak to this guy, nice guy, very mild-mannered, doesn't talk a lot of trash. In fact, it's very hard to get him to say anything bad about his opponent. Believe me, I tried. But once the fight starts, once the referee says, action, this man puts the gloves on, he goes for it. He swings with everything he's got, looking for the knockout. As always, undefeated as a professional and also undefeated as an, as an amateur. And, and Sharon, on the other end of the spectrum, he's finished all of his wins by submission. Yeah, exactly. Two rear naked jokes and two guillotines. This guy was uh, raised in Brooklyn, had some tough times, went to a lot of different foster homes, settled in Boston, and then since there, got into mixed martial arts. Said he was always a fighter, went out there, put on the false uh, small four-hours gloves with his brother. They beat the crap out of each other. They thought they'd go find a gym. Four months later, he was having his pro fight, and here he is tonight. He has not had a... Fuck heart.
Bucks are in a trunk play. Yeah, well, you can go to Houston. Let's, let's go to Houston where those guys really uh, have a low share of the ball, but they move the ball that much more. Why? Because of the system. You know that if Westbrook and Hart isn't going to shoot, they're penetrating, looking for others. And the identity of this team is they don't share the ball, and other teams know that. They take advantage of it. But so is foul. What can a team like Houston win? To take it all the way through the conference finals. This is for you, Garner.